Yep, it's morning time. I slept in a parking lot here in Nanaimo last night. Ugh. 5.45 right now. May I have a large Americano, please? Yeah. Thank you very much. See ya. That's pretty cool. That's my first shore sighting of a whale on Vancouver Island. Oh, it smells so good, guys. I wish I wish I could transfer that through the phone or the camera or the YouTube so you could smell all of this because that's got the most beautiful ocean smell. That's kind of cool actually. It's kind of like does a breathe up, sort of like what we do. Like take a bunch of little breaths at the surface and then and it goes down. It's probably diving down for some kind of food. What a place. So cool. I think I officially found my happy spot this time in my life is like just being down here by the ocean and um, receiving its nourishment in, you know, all ways like, you know, exercise, spiritual, food wise, all that. It's like, it's been really good for me. Salmon jack. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Salmon, salmon's there. Yeah. yeah. You want to do the shot if you give me that? Special delivery, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's sweet. That thing he gave me is that buoy right there. They're just small. Yeah. I've never seen a, a big one here. The whale is still out there. Oh, some kayakers floating out to it. Oh, it's so peaceful though, man. It's really neat. It's too bad about the visibility. It's not great, but... This is what it's like to dive down in this kind of water. You don't know what you're going to see until you get down there.
then just like that, it's time to go breathe again. The surface time between the dives are about double to three times as long as what the dives are. So these dives are about a minute long, which means I'm spending two to three minutes on the surface just breathing regularly, trying to reoxygenate my blood and my organs so that I can be prepared for the next drop. And while I'm spearfishing, I'm actually looking for a link cod, which this is here. This guy's too small. And I'm also looking for greenling and some other fish that I'm allowed to harvest. And this guy here, seeing it in the footage, it actually looks like a legal size link cod. They need to be a minimum size of 65 centimeters, but I gave that guy a pass. There's that other one again. This is actually a piece of a garden hose. And that's a juvenile salmon. Another link cod here on the rock. And this is the last drop I do. This is when I actually see a greenling in the end of it that does interest me. That thing was really cool. Um, oh yeah, I got this thing here. Let's throw that in the garbage. There they go. I'm struggling with my camera. It keeps glitching out and then uh, I'm losing shots, which means today I'm gonna go deal with it. Showing right there, mm -hmm. but the screen is Still, if you move the phone around, it just looks like I took a picture. Back to this phone for a little while. Nice and clean. Clean my mat, my shoes, all the dive gear. This thing's pretty slick, it's like a little mini paddle board, but uh, it's a diving buoy and there's a flag for it too, I'll show you guys a little bit later. But um, I, that thing is way better than that other thing that I tried out before. Um, it was a couple videos back, Keon lent me a prototype that he had, which looked like a little Zodiac boat and I uh, tried it out for a couple times and I gave it back to him and I was like, yeah, you're right, it's, it's no good. A bit too heavy for this. This thing is all my lead and weight. It's a bit of a chore. They gave me a refund. Three hundred and thirty-six bucks. They refunded it. I think they're changing the name to Mobile Kinks or something like that, or I don't know. Anyway, I'm still filming on it, but they said, uh, yeah, they stood by their, their guarantee. They're like, well, we told you we would fix it so that 
you could film on it 100%, but they're like, yeah, we can't, we can't get this one. Uh, we, we tried a number of different microphone things with the popping. There's a little popping sound that's coming through on the audio. And it probably happens when I touch the phone a little bit. Boop. Does a little pop. It sounds like the microphone's underwater. Anyway, if you got something you want to fix and you're in Nanaimo, uh, look them up. Good folks. Now I gotta go rest or something. I'm so tired. All right, bougie RV fridges. I've actually got a Dometic in here, you guys. It's a CX, I think it's 25 or something. This is the one that's built into my cabinet and I can't really replace this fridge with any other. It's just, it is what it is. I got these aluminum bars here that I built into the face of the drawer. So they're screwed in like this and then they wrap around, they screw in where the handle was for the fridge. And then there's a couple tabs in the back down at the bottom on this, uh, piece of wood that hold the fridge in there so this whole thing is like in this drawer and it you know it served me pretty good um but we're not talking about that that's just what i started off with and that's what's built into my van this one came well actually both of these came from bougie rv and i want to talk about this one because i got this one put in my van quite a while ago maybe a, a month and a half ago and I figure I could do a little bit of a review on this one. I've used it both in a freezer mode and a fridge mode. Currently I have that one in a freezer mode because it's acting up lately. It seems to be freezing everything no matter what. So I just put it in freezer mode and um, that's, that's that. But there is something wrong with that fridge. So this one I got it in fridge mode. There's some stuff in there. I like the fact that I can put a full carton of eggs in it like this and this is the same fridge you guys as that one it's just a little bit taller so there's a little bit more room in it but the reason i got this one is because when we originally worked out a brand deal um that was the fridge that i wanted they sent me this one and i was like guys you sent me the wrong fridge i really wanted that white color because it, it matches this and the gray matches that like it was just aesthetically pleasing to me as opposed to the dark. This is a better fridge though compared to that one. And uh, I'm gonna give this one away to my friend, Chris Sampson, PNW Sampson on YouTube. He's the guy that introduced me to the free diving and the spear fishing and all that sort of stuff. And uh, he's a family guy, so he's always out in his Dodge Grand Caravan taking the kids out to the beach and stuff and spear fishing and whatnot. So I figured I would pass this on to him so that he could use this with his family. It's brand new. There is a light in this one and there's no light in that one. So there's a little detail. In here is a separate thing right here. This is a little battery that these guys make. And um, there's a 12 volt port right here. And we got USB-C, USB-A. There's the input and then there's the power and there's a flashlight, which is right there. So the idea with the battery, the way it is there is there's this little port back here. Right here. You take the cord that you normally plug into your car and you bring it in through here. Yeah, now it's plugged into the battery and you can see it's pulling between 35 and 40 watts or so. And it's just hanging out like that. That's not too bad. <clears throat> I think from a design perspective, they probably should have put the plug on the inside of this, this thing and just had a really short one that goes straight into this and or a long one that goes out of the hole and to your plug in your vehicle. But um, I don't know, this, this totally works like this too. Otherwise you, you might just, still get hung up on there down to 99 percent already <laughs> i don't know how long that'll last but uh anyway um i've had this in my van now for several days um, because i was going to meet up with chris at a campsite and we were going to do some camping together and i was going to give it to him out there but something came up and uh, we had to change plans so i decided i might as well uh just meet up in nanaimo with him and hand it off to him here He's done so much for me and I just figured this is, uh, this is a good way to, you know, pay, pay this forward. 
and Bougie RV. I'm sure you guys will appreciate that too because Chris has got a, a pretty good YouTube channel and uh, you guys PNW Samson on, on YouTube, free diving and spear fishing. And I'm sure he's gonna put this to use on that channel. Hey, buddy. Yeah, what's up, man? How's it going? Good. Awesome. Oh, good, man. Had a, good, uh, had a good rest last night. I oh, did, sick, yeah. Dude. There you yeah, are. That looks awesome. Yeah, I Thanks do. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, yeah you're I'll welcome. That up with a bunch of fish. It'll be stinking in no time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go get a coffee. Yeah, let's do it, man. Okay. peaceful morning. It's quite special. Don't normally see water this calm in Victoria. This place has normally got a lot of wind. I'm gonna bring this thing out. I'm gonna get my gear on. I'm itching to get in. I think slack's in less than an hour, so the time is perfect. This is Chris, he's doing his breathe up right now, so he's just preparing to make his drop down into the deeper water. And this is what it's like, this is what we do. We sit on the surface for a while, we do our breathe up just totally still, and then when we're ready to go, down we go. got the full light out which I think is 50 meters long. I haven't measured it yet but and this is pretty common more often than not you're gonna see your buddy surface at a different spot from where he dove down so I'm just looking around trying to see where he's coming up and it turns out he's coming up right here. Got a treasure? What's that? Did you find a treasure? Oh, that's that white thing. Oh, okay. I thought something was in your head. Yeah, that was a plaque down there. Yeah. Underwater diving plaque. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's kind of like got a bunch of stuff on it, but if you look at it, there's like a few a bit of writing and some pictures okay. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna check it out. What's that? What's, no, you don't have a watch, do you? No, I was just thinking like maybe this line might be 50 meters. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, let's get down there. It is pretty deep right here. I actually did several drops down into this area. First one I found some fishing line that I tried to untangle and bring up to the surface, but I was running out of air and just had to leave it behind. And then it was hard to find it again. It shows up a little bit in one of these clips, but you can only do so much when you're down here on a single breath.
trying to find that leak god again. Chris is having problems equalizing today because he's got some congestion. So we'll just dive along in the kelp here and then we're going to go hit up another spot afterwards. So we just stay here for a bit longer. Should have spent more time in here because there's a little bit more interesting stuff in there. Anyway, this thing was it wasn't really necessary right here actually, but there are spots for it. This wasn't one of them because we were just basically diving in amongst all this kelp. Anyway, uh, new location. We're going somewhere else. Stop for coffee. Uh, this is a little spot that he wants to dive at. It looks like a river, but it's not. I'm do a little treasure hunt. He's after bottles. It looks beautiful in there. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh-huh. That'll be fun. Yeah, man.
getting back. I'm tired. Uh, here's the uh, the bottles. Um, there were so many, but uh, anyway, I don't know what these are. I'm just gonna set them out for Chris. See whatever ones he wants. And definitely some cool ones in there, little teeny ones. That one's uh, that one's cool. It's a nice green, really cool green. I like this one's probably my favorite. Green. This this one's a ketchup bottle. Heinz ketchup. This one's got a break in it. It's hard to tell what color this one is. Clear? Oh, it's, you can kind of see it. It's like really, I don't know what color that is. There you go. Anyway, I'm tired I think because it was I was so hot in that seven millimeter wetsuit out there. And uh, Chris said I should probably just not wear the pants, but I didn't want to scrape up my legs on the on the shells on the bottom, so I wore my pants. Um, but it was it was pretty hot. All right, bro. Yeah, man, that was really good fun. to see you. Thanks for finding those gems for me. Yeah, yeah, that's good, man. Yeah. Good luck grabbing if you end up going. All right. And uh, we'll be in touch soon, maybe on Saturday. Get more. Yeah, I'll let you know. So I think that's that's it for the diving today. It's nice to have this thing so far. I'm uh, pretty happy about about it. I can clip things on to the front, the middle, the back. For now, I got this little our catch bag up there. I wasn't super serious about coming out here, guys, to do a grab dive. But, uh, I think that's it. I gotta go clean up. Look at that. It's just in the water here and now there's an orca. Amazing. Oh wow. They must be just hunting around for some seals. <laughs> Check it out those people at the water over there. Like, are you a seal? Yeah, they're oh my god, they're swimming right up to those people too. They're down there. Whoa. Oh, that's quite an experience. I'm on full zoom, you guys. That's about uh, 200 meters away from me. Holy moly. Wow. Swimming out, there's a seal in front of them. That is so neat. I wish I was in the water, you guys. I, I, we could probably like sound record them, hear them. I'm just, I'm in my shorts, I'm out of my gear. Technically, I wouldn't be allowed to go in the water right now. Those guys out there are fine. I 
should have stayed out in the water. <laughs> Couldn't see anything. But it was, uh, that would have been scary actually, being in the water with no viz and then having something that big come up to me. I, I would be like, uh, don't eat me guys, I'm not a seal. I'm gonna put some sunscreen on and just chill, but uh, there's a lot for me to do. I gotta go clean up everything and it's a kind of a big job. Drying off all the gear right now. There's a bit to it. Shading out the windows with that. I'm gonna make dinner soon though. And then uh, my friend Kylan's coming down. She's gonna join me and uh, she's already eating. She's eating now, but uh, I think I'm gonna make a curry. I got some fish in the freezer. I just took it out, it's thawing out. And uh, that's the plan. <laughs> How do you do? No, I stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's that was perfect. <laughs> 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 uh, we're gonna get the sunset back there today. Nice. Yeah. That was a great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The shadowing and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, time to serve up a bowl of dinner. I really need a ladle or something. No, oh, this is solid. Did you want any? I, I didn't hear what you said. No. a small bowl I'm probably gonna have two bowls and it, it's delicious I've already had a little bite so the fish in this one is uh, greenling and some of the rockfish the last little bit of rockfish that I uh, speared mm, I feel like it was a whole couple weeks ago now uh, so that's the last bit of that and then uh, greenling that I got about a week ago so I'm good place to sit. I'm officially um, out of fish after this. Oh, which is uh, which is okay. Um, 
yeah there's there's this and i've got some leftover um sea like fish chowder that i made and i'm gonna have leftovers of this so i'm gonna eat probably this leftovers for a while afterwards piece of fish Mm. That's good. <laughs> Some too, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that smells good. Mm -hmm. I'm going back for round three. But, you know, this is my meal. One meal a day. I haven't eaten anything else today. Um, and then the leftovers. I got a full jar, which is probably equivalent to two of those bowls. That's great. It is time for a toque and sweater for me too. The sun's just setting now. My stuff isn't totally dry yet, but it's, uh, it's a little bit better. Yeah, some of it's gonna come in the van with me tonight. Yeah, so we went for a nice long walk from Johnson, just like Johnson and Coke area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 